Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Just Enough Heshi show. And uh, I'm excited. I got my whole team back. Uh, uh, George is back. He went to Washington to, uh, to, to do something special for me. Well, I got some education. The education, <laughs> and he's going to guarantee me a win. Guarantee me a win. By the way, George, I have a problem with you. Uh, and I have Nicole help me with this. You're going to sue me? Uh, uh, almost. <laughs> almost. I had, I had your thing. And uh, welcome, Tom. How, How you are doing you? Nice I missed you this week. Because well, usually me and Tom talk a lot in the middle of the night. But this week, Tom didn't want to pick up his phone. Where were you, sleeping? Actually, we spoke yeah. on the phone. Uh, once, once. Usually it's every night. What maybe, happens? Maybe he's I'm got, on maybe you know why, Hashi? Because I'm on SportsWire Radio on YouTube. Because in no, the last no, week. No, no, no. no, no, no. Let me morning. finish, Hashi. We actually, in the last week, got over 30 subscribers on YouTube. While you're losing subscribers, I'm gaining subscribers. <laughs> So we might want to change this show. I don't like to Tom. The Justin I don't like Tom. Sports Tom, I don't like him. I don't. You know, I bought chicken. Tom, you don't get any chicken. I any. actually don't eat before I go on the air. It's superstition. Uh, uh, well, okay. you can eat it for me, Hashi. How about I that? Will, you can definitely look like you could use it. So, so Hashi, what's your way, problem with me? I didn't finish. I didn't introduce Nicole. Hi, okay. Nicole. How are you? Welcome back. I'm well. I have a I have a message from from my one Sarah Rose. She wants everybody to know that today was her hundredth day of school. And they asked them where, where they wanted to live when they were 100 years old. And my, my sweet, beautiful, amazing daughter said, Tel Aviv, Israel. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> wow, it. beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah, Love it. Nice. That's what she wanted the world to know uh, today. And that's know, amazing. What, what is the producer? What do you need? Really? Anyways, <laughs> um, um, I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, as you know, I'm on the diet. Ever and, <laughs> and it never you worked. have lost weight. I have lost weight by cheating. Half. I know because of this empty thing. But I actually f listen to this, guys. I want everybody to hear this. And I sent it to George. George laughed at me. He deleted it. Idiot. Uh, <laughs> so this guy deletes your messages, and that guy doesn't take your calls. So I know. You, you I know. You're the you're only one that I love. You're the only See? good girl. I, I, I See? just. Have you thought maybe we have something called women at home? <laughs> <laughs> So um, uh, uh, you have to take a green lemon, everybody, a green lemon. So a lime? And you uh, it's a lemon. Okay, you can call it a lime, fine. <laughs> and you cut the edges of, you know, the pits off, and you cut it up into little pieces. Then you take a green apple, and you cut it up into pieces, and you take out the core. And then you take a cucumber, and you oh, cut it up into pieces and keep delicious. the skin on all of them. Yeah. Keep the skin you notice on. a pattern. There's everything green. Okay, fine, right. Oh, God. Green yeah, stuff is good. I'm Don't in make a No, because the mayor wants everything to be green now in New York. And uh, <laughs> Osamia Kalevia, uh, what's her name again? Flower, blue, Alexi, the Rita, uh, Rita, uh, Rita, I can't say the double. AOC? Uh, not, no, AOC. What's her oh, name? Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. Cortez. Right, I want to talk about that too, which is a dangerous thing that came up. Mm -hmm. So, what you do is you take all these three items and you cut it up and you put it in a blender and you put a little ice in if you want to make it cold. And before you eat breakfast in the morning, well, on an empty stomach, you drink this. Now, it's a little bit of a, a bittery taste, you know, so you put a little bit of cranberry juice in or pomegranate juice in, and you drink it. Yeah. It, in one week, I promise you, you'll lose five to seven pounds. Try it, everybody. Try it. So Listen this just became the Heshi Lifestyle Show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you, if you hang in there long enough, uh, recipes coming up. Well, next. we did have months ago a, a hypnosis on the show. Remember, right. we, remember we got <laughs> hypnosed on the air? Oh, I forgot, <laughs> to, I forgot to say hello to my YouTube fans, my yes. Facebook fans. Soon we're going to have the other people. And hello, uh, Instagram, yes. even though none of you people watch me. Uh, <laughs> what should I tell them? Heshi, that is not the way I to know, start a greeting room. But, <laughs> I, but, I, but I, I want to start the show, but I, I just want to ask one thing, and, and and me and George, uh, just for you, 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 you people on the internet, George tells me I'm not allowed to say the W word about women. Not just okay. George. No, I'm glad. I hope General you say consensus. it because I'm going to collect yeah. some money. So, so I had a beautiful lawyer came in this week to oh, my office. Oh, thank you. No, no. Besides you, oh, she's just <laughs> as pretty as you. Very smart lawyer girl. She bought a house and she needs my help with the whole procedure. And we were joking about it, and I said, you know, George tells me, you know, legally I'm not allowed to even say that word. So she says, no, no, no. She says, it depends on how you use the W word. If you actually, imp you know, imply that she is a W, you know what I mean? That if, uh, I can't, W-H-O-R. If you imply that the woman is that, she better be that. But if she's not that, then it's defamation of character. <laughs> George never said it was illegal. George said it was. No, thank statesman. you. I never <laughs> said it was illegal. Fun I just said, said I'm not allowed to use it. It's not. It's inappropriate for a political it person to say it. Yeah. A radio oh, personality, go ahead. You know. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm changing my ways. I'm good. Anyways, who's joining our show now? We have 620 WSNR. Obviously, our signature going back to the original days when you were the station over there. Also, WJPR out there in Miami. It's a 1640, I believe, and also the original station of rock and roll, which is now talking 
talk and talk. 1027 WNEW. Thank you, everybody, here for tuning in. And I hope that you join the conversation. Also, give us a call, 646 974 1580. Before you do some ads, I just want to tell you guys, uh, uh, you know, uh, I want to explain what I'll show this week, and I want to talk to my people here that the government's waste, and we all say that government waste, government waste, waste of our time, waste of our money. This week, they tried to impeach the the uh, the uh, Homeland uh, Secretary Alejandro Alejandro Mayorkas. Forget that's a waste of time. That was just stupid what they did. Waste of time. But even if you uh, uh, impeach him, I understand the president you impeach because today we can pick whatever we want. But when you impeach a, a, a guy, just uh, 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 Biden would just pick somebody else. You know, Biden doesn't know what he's doing. You know, this week he was t- making a news conference. Did you see that? He made a news conference and he was talking about. Just to be clear, if you pick somebody new, uh, they still then have to go through the approval process. Process and yes, again, but most likely they'll yes. get approved, and he gets to be interim till he gets approved. If the Republicans hold the line; they can, they can yeah, really. Yeah, but be they, 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 they have to choose somebody sooner or later, and they make him an intern, uh, 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 border patrol guy, whatever it is, and that's it. You're done. But my point to here to you is, as long as somebody's sitting on the floor, they cannot appoint an emergency or interim guy. They have to wait for the vote on the floor. Okay. Well, my, my, my is that not correct, Nicole? I I, that's why I'm pointing. I'm like, he's got it. He's okay, got it. But, but you wasted. Even the Republicans shows you they wasted our time. They wasted our money. They wasted our uh, when they could have done uh, bills and passing. And, and you know what's happening instead? Floods in Los Angeles. Houses are collapsing. Uh, uh, people are, are being mi- in the migrants in New York City. You know what they're doing? The migrants, and, and this is part of our show. They actually have gangs stealing your cell phones. We're talking about that actually uh, off the air. There, there, there was that. about sixty uh, incidents. And they steal your cell phones. They empty your accounts. And these guys have money to hire people. And this is my point to you. We're now going. You know, I, I had a poor man that I help people from jail with their, when they come home to get uh, social security, to get programs. My people only get $279 a month for the food SNAP program. Uh, These migrants getting a thousand. A thousand. Oh, for the love and of God. You oh, can, I, level okay. of God, okay. you're feeding Has people she, that are robbing oh, us. Oh, Wait a minute, and then when they're finished and they ate a good meal, they go and beat up my cops. So you, read the, so you read the, obviously you read the headline. Which oh, I did read the headline, oh, yeah, and I'm not finished yet. When uh, Biden gets up there, because he doesn't know what's going on, so we can't even discuss the police in New York City, what's going well, on. Well, he still thinks Mitt Iran is around. Right, that's another <laughs> thing we're going to bring up. Here's the worst part. The worst part is when, when, when Biden is just asking, we're talking about Biden about the war with Israel. Can we just check he talks about the that, well, He talks about opposition. What Hamas is not our opponents or opposition. Some reporter had to tell. That's what he said on national television. He says Hamas is our opposition opponents. Uh, not they are. They're not. They're our enemy. They are terrorists. You have to refer opposition. to them as terrorists. Okay, but he didn't even say Hamas. He just said our opponents. What did he say? What was the word? I forgot. Opposition or... Uh, uh, was it, I, I, I That's what you're getting upset about? Know. Syntax? But the point is, is the man doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know what words are coming out of his mouth. He doesn't belong to be president. Anyway, now, well, you know, he would have appointed if Mayorkas would have gone. Can yeah. we go back to the we're credit card go, thing? We're going to go, but Mayorkas would have been appointed. You know who they would have appointed? AOC. You tell he me. He would not have appointed he AOC. He would have appointed AOC. That's how right. that she was ready for the next that instance. Why, why would she take that appointment? She I could stay not. She could stay in that congressional seat for like a 30 years. I know that, but disappointment. <laughs> well, she's she's looking for the big presidency. She's looking for vice president. She's looking for the big No, she, the, it's not. rumored that she wants the Senate run Right. When Gillibrand goes out. Is she out even 35 yet? She's not. No, she's not eligible say, for yeah, presidency. But she, but, right, but she's, they're all waiting to groom this crazy witch. That's the W word I'm going to use from now on. Which. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start the show. We're going to talk a lot about the migrants, but I want to tell you my quote of the day. And George, this is for George. Come, hold on, hold on. Before you start, are we still in, on to, Nicole, are we still down with Joe Biden? Are you still voting for him? Uh, for the millionth time. I just want to check in every is, so it often. It is not an, enth- an enthusiastic support of Joe Biden. It is an enthusiastic opposition of Donald Trump. Okay. I would I would vote for anybody, and I mean this, anyone, convicts, but, but, but anyone, you have, do you know not last, Donald Trump. Do you know last year 900,000 immigrants crossed over the border? Uh, 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 and do you country. know that today, today thanks, to we, GOP, thanks to the GOP, thanks to the GOP, the biggest bill in our history, bipartisan support, the biggest bill that would have made the most change to the immigration policy we've ever had, 
failed. But, Why? But because, Why? Because the GOP but the you don't Democrats make, wasted but our the time. But the Democrats you threw a to, lot of garbage in there. They wasted our you don't time. Need to what make, garbage did they throw in there? They you threw don't support need to, for Ukraine and they threw support for Israel. In first of all, why is it? Um, why is a migrate? Why is the immigration bill tied in with Israel? And right. Ukraine. Yeah. I don't give a crap. Because right. they have historically snuck in Historically, you're like, wasting my time. You know what they should have thrown in? You know, this is America. The so gr- make an amendment. Wait a minute, wait a make an they amendment. Can't. You don't strike down they the can't. whole thing. Do you know that America is the Motion gr- to amend. Wait a and Nicole, you're a lawyer. America is the greatest country in the world. You want me to say that honestly? Yes. Is this, an yes. Honest? Is this a yeah. trick question? Yeah. Absolutely. Go. It's live. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Do I believe that at the, at the present time? No. Right. But, but it should be. And it was. Should it be? Yes. Uh, and we have the power to be. I just want to tell you something. We have we built skyscrapers a hundred stories high. Yeah. We build uh, super highways that go thousands of miles. Can trains, you, can and you land answer, it on the moon? Can you ask yeah? me What's that question? Here? Uh-oh. Is America ex- is I'm a good ask? No, I don't want to hear his well, answer. George, is, is America the greatest have, country in the have, world? We have a little flooding in Los Angeles. Hold on, hold on. I will answer Nicole first. America might not be the greatest country in the world, but it's the greatest idea in the, the world. Greatest idea in the world. I like okay. that. And, and, and oh, he's it's right. a, and it's and it's That's an great. American experiment that we Americans have to constantly work on. And I believe America and the idea is an exceptional once in a millennial idea that comes around. So how come you don't run? Uh, real quick, has she but, but actually but 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 before before you, I will run one day. I just want you to know, we have mudslides in Los Angeles because of a little rain. <laughs> We have flooding in New York. People are dying uh, uh, all over the country. Buildings collapsing. You ready? Uh, you want to hear uh, his head spin? Bridges Cole, collapsing. We, it's wait, 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 called no, no, climate no, no, change. Don't no, put them on the line. Yes, climate put them on the line. Change. The climate change, which is another lie. So my point to you is, with the trillions of dollars we're giving away, if we bring those trillions of dollars into the United States, we can fix all of this. Go you're ahead, Carla. You're on the line here with George, Nicole, Heshi, on Tom, and Tom on the Just Enough Heshi Show. I didn't even show. say my joke and quote. Well, you got to call her on the line. The, the fact that you think you. climate change is a lie is your joke. Caller, you're on the air. Yes, hi. Hi, hi. how are you? Hello. Tell hi. us who we are. How are you? Yeah, hi. Um, this is Rifke. I was the one that told you about the pox during COVID. Yes, hi. I remember you, Rifke, very well. I was listening well. to your program last week, but you couldn't call through. There was something wrong with your phone my producer and i i feel like you really tapped on to a very um important issue here in borough park talk Kedina about Kedina Hara, people uh women have a lot of children Kedina Hara. Mm-hmm. but do you realize that there is literally no help for these young women i love you rifki oh, rifki rifki for the last 15 years and I've been pitching my, 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 my campaign manager, Joe, and screaming at Tom. And, and they, can produce, uh, they can attest to it over and over. What is my number one issue? Postpartum depression. Has she no, been I've, heard, I've heard this here. from you many times. And, 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 this is, and she's going to tell you it's not an issue. It's a serious I issue. Can't, I can't hear you too well. Talk. Uh, talk. It's Floor a is serious yours. issue. You can't hear me? I don't Floor know. Floor is yours, Rifki. Oh, Go ahead. No, I hear you. Yeah. Go ahead. Floor but is it's yours. a serious issue, no, and, and, I, I and the people should know that. And we get no help and no money. But when I was young and I moved to Borough Park, my, my parents weren't living in this neighborhood. And besides, they were older. And I got so much help. I got the Satma School has a chesed program. Girls came to my house at 4 o'clock to help. I didn't ask them to clean or to cook. Just to sit down, do homework with the kids, or read to the kids. Yeah. And then there was when I did, when I gave birth for two, for two weeks afterwards, the, 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 the there was a kimbatory uh, organization that would send me a lady not all day just for a couple of hours, but she was a big help. She helped me with the supper or she held the baby, and it was wonderful. Do you know that today those two things don't exist in Borough Park? Yeah. I got a call asking for tzedakah from a kimpator. Two of them from, from Muncie. I told them I'm not giving you one penny because I called you. I knew a young woman that was really maturing herself and needed help. And you told me, oh, we don't do those things anymore. Two things I want. I want to thank you. Thank you, Thank you for the call. And if you and, 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 and stop by the office anytime, we're fifty three eighteen Sixteenth Avenue. You want to give us a call anytime? Always call us at six four six. So glad you called. Here is See, that's here's important. a person that understands this, 
And it's, but anyways, I want to give you my quote. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, and then we're going to run the ad afterwards. Okay, we'll do that. Let's go for it. Here's my quote. Good things come to those who believe. Mm-hmm. Better things come to those who are patient. The best things come to those who don't give up. George, I do not give up, and you will not give up on me, and we are patient. We've been waiting a long time. I will time. not give up on you to be a statesman one okay. day. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to win this one, ladies and gentlemen. Patience I know they're going to put somebody Patience up with me, attacked. but they're good to go. Anyways, before we do the ads, you have to hear my joke. All right, I, I worked hard on, on this joke this week. All right. Okay, I'm, I was with Linda this week, and it happened this week. Okay, um, we, me and Linda went shopping. I had to take her with me because she was... Wow, you spent money? I sp- a little bit. <laughs> because Yaakov, my son, is going wow. out with girls, and we want to buy him a nice coat. So we took Yaakov to this store, and Linda's showing coats, and we can get this coat, and the lady shows us the coat, and she says, this coat contains 50% wool, 50% polyester, and 50% cotton. Huh? I know, that's what Linda said. <laughs> that's an Linda amazing said, suit. how is that possible? The lady replies, this is a jacket and a half. You know, it's... Jacket and a half. Oh, God. You see, the, 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 the non Jew didn't get that. You know what I mean? The, the Jew got that. Anyways, here's the good joke for the day, okay? I went, with, as you know, I take a little grocery shopping every week. And we were in the store. We were behind a lot. We were checking out. We were behind this lady online. And she's talking a lot on the phone. I had no choice but to overhear it, me and Linda. And the lady said on her cell phone, you know, she was talking. Don't forget to say thank you and sit up straight, use your napkin, and please, for the <laughs> love of God, close your mouth when you chew. And she looks at Linda, and Linda says, kids, huh? <laughs> And the lady rolls her eyes and says, no, husbands. <laughs> Linda, That's good. And, Linda, That's and good. Linda looks at me like, I'm one of those. No, 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 I close my mouth when I chew. I don't sit up straight. And you don't close your mouth any other time. Right. I, I, <laughs> Nicole made a joke, everybody. Give it to X. Anyways, um... Go ahead. Dad. Yep, we're, we're going to obviously have our commercials now. They're going to couple on the screen here. The first one we're going to run here is Green Line Building Compliance. That's me, baby. I we're, did great this week for yep, people. 202 Foster Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11230, uh, 718-871-0382. Give us a call. We're in the middle of Midwood and Flatbush, so certainly stop by anytime. Also want to make sure that uh, you t- check out our friends over at Veit and Gruber Law Firm. Somebody here, I think, uh, works for them. <laughs> you want to uh, give them a call anytime at 732-695-3303. They're the cornerstone of financial justice. They help out when it comes to bankruptcy wills. I got you. We're going to continue the ad, though. Uh, bankruptcy, finances, wills, you name it, they'll help you out with. 1720 NJ34, Wall Township, New Jersey, 07. 07- Seven two seven. What's that phone number again? Seven three two six nine five three three zero three. And what's up on the screen here? For you YouTube and then yep. Facebook Four, friends. Foreclosures, defense, real estate, wills, trust, estates. They've been serving the community out there in Monmouth County since two thousand ten. And uh, somebody we know here that's with us uh, is a big part of them. So make sure you go go support them. Also, uh, if it runs on the screen, I want to plug our friends over at Crossroads. Crossroads are at uh, 206 West Parkway. Uh, Oh, he's actually going to say no more. Okay, fair enough. Oh, he said no more? Producers certainly got to run these a little different. Well, uh, we'll get to Crossroads in a minute. I don't know why. He said no more. He said no more. I was going to run the third one. but You do the third one. You don't listen to them. We're the boss of the show. All right. The producers call Justin Mahesh. All right. Well, Uh, Maybe he doesn't understand that. All right. Well, we'll run it anyway. Crossroads, 206 West Parkway Drive, Suite 1B in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, 08234. If you need help with, there we go, now it comes up here. Mental health, it comes to behavior, any other issues, they're there for you. Give them a call at 609-810-9522. That's 609-810-9522. And they're usually from Monday to Saturday between 10 o'clock and 4 or 5 p.m. Saturdays is 4. Monday to Friday is 5 o'clock. So find the better help you need for a better tomorrow. Our friends at Crossroads, and uh, I know it's not going to be on the screen, but there's a bonus. want to plug our buddy Anthony Finkel. Actually texted me a video that he played of me actually uh, re- you know, reading off the ad here. So for DPH Property Maintenance Service, give them a call as they offer professional, reliable, and friendly service at reasonable rates for any and all residential commercial needs, no matter how large or small. They're at 347-228-2625, and they specialize in painting, trash removal, junk removal, and if it's a thing, snow removal. Well, they had snow. that DP logo. I sent it over to them well, this week. There it um, is. 
We're going to start going back to what Nicole said. And also, one more thing I got to add Hashitishler.com. Yeah. Uh, Hashitishler.com. Has 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 also, we, we're rocking and rolling, guys. I need those donations. Hashitishler.com. We are going to get elected. Support me. We need a volunteer force. Join me. Call me. Go to my website. Email get us my at phone number. Yeah. Stop by the office guys, anytime. We're going to win this. You're going to see what family. one guy could do, what one guy, the changes could be made. And to be clear, if you can't donate, you know, when the time is right, we we could take volunteers too. Give us right. some, the, give us some time, yeah. two hours, twenty yeah. hours, yeah. two hundred hours. That would be great. Um, <laughs> I, I, I want to ask you a question about the migrants. And here's my problem. Forget that the you know one of the migrants. I saw a video. They grabbed an old lady. Okay, they they grabbed her pocketbook. They dragged her through the street. These motorcycle gangster animal migrants and dragged her through the street. Now. A couple of other migrants went to beat up cops. They arrested them. Your district, not, it's not, not yours, uh, hers. Your district attorney, Alvin Bragg, d Democrat dog, let them go without bail. Now, they didn't just do something wrong. They beat up a cop. It's assault and battery, which does require bail. Again, they, everybody got free. And you know why they're back in jail? Because they decided just to run away to Phoenix, Arizona. They ran away. They got on the bus and they got caught uh, running away uh, on when they're supposed to be on uh, uh, ROR, okay? Which is, means what? Released on recognizance. Exactly. Released with trustworthy. You can't trust any of the migrants. That's it. Well, that's I don't know story. if you can't trust any, any of the of migrants. migrants. That's, Thank you. That's a pretty strong statement. But I, there's no doubt that Venezuela is doing the Cuban thing that Cuba did to us in the 80s. Right. They're emptying out their prisons. And a lot of these Venezuelans that are coming up, they're not all upstanding it's citizens. I'm sure some of them are hard of, workers, uh, yeah, but, but but there's a there's a contingent that's with them that is not uh, that being released being from taught, the jails. They're being taught they don't have to work. Well, do you know who's they're teaching? Given, they're given a thousand dollars credit card. You know what, May Adams? They're do you not know? given a thousand dollars credit card. Okay, we got to address Excuse this. Me, this May, is crazy. Well, go yeah, I read the article. May Obviously, you did. I, I saw read the May article. Adams on you TV. You read the headline. I read he the said, article. He said, "I'm not giving them an American Express card. I'm giving them a credit card to go out shopping for a thousand dollars." No, it's what not for a thousand dollars. First of all, no, it, no, it works. No, bull. It works similar to the SNAP program. No, it does Where it goes by members of the family. It's not. The only thing that that credit card is supposed to be used for is food. But it's not food. They use it for liquor. Like, they use it for other okay, stuff. Okay, well, and they're doing it illegally, just like oh. when you do with food They're stamps. called illegal migrants. Okay. Listen. They're called illegal aliens okay, because but they're illegal. You're blaming the Doesn't program, that and that's sense? misplaced. Wow, that's funny. They use, well, they use credit cards to, for food purchases only. And oh, by the way, that program. So why don't they just give them a SNAP card? Why are they giving them a credit card? Because they're not eligible for SNAP because they're migrants. But that program. <laughs> what, wait, what hold on. That program you're was set to replace. My taxpayer money, reclaiming my old. time. You're interrupting. Wow. That program was set to replace what what we've been complaining about, which is the food waste with the private contract companies. So there's no more private contract with the food the food distributors it that is. were terrible. Right, is. but the, the credit card program is set to replace that contract. That contract is yeah. out, this program is in. Yes. And as far as we've been told, and if you've done the research, I'd love to see it, this is supposed to spare the city $600,000. I'm all about saving money. It's $53 million they started with. But it's saving $600,000 a, a month, and at billion. the rate we're going, we're going to, it's going to pay for itself if we don't fix the I, immigration I problem. Which, by the way, GOP could have done today. That, that bill was BS. Come on. Yeah, that's a bull bill. And, and the same way, do you know that Denver, Colorado actually said we will not accept any more migrants? You know that? Denver said we're at, at max. Do not send and we will not take. How could you stop that? But we're still welcoming them. Well, if the mayor was nobody said we're welcoming wanted them, to be but it's a aggressive, we're not able to solve at the moment. He should put the cops on every train, on, on every train station, on every bridge, on every highway coming into the city. And if there's a bus there, stop them and say, you know, just walk around and see what was on that bus. They did it during September 11th. Yeah. You had a bus that came into Manhattan. They stopped every bus. But all I know is D.A. Bragg should be fired. Even Hochul got on TV. D.A. Bragg, you're letting people who beat up cops off the hook without any bail. That man should be fired. Should be fired. I don't even give me any excuse. Any excuse why he let them go? Well, first of all, they shouldn't have been let go because they, they have no, there's no way they would check into court. A couple cool questions right, for right. you, Hashi. There was no way to check I into court. I got a couple court. questions yeah. from the audience. First of all, SNAP is federal. That's what uh, somebody wants to point out when it comes to SNAP. 
Uh, also, but the uh, mayor is giving them credit cards. Fifty-three to million dollars okay. worth, yeah, and it's going to be yep. increased to a billion dollars. He went to get more money. He wants one point six billion yeah. from Albany. I'm, I'm sorry, one point six. I made a You're mistake welcome. by six hundred million dollars. You're welcome. <laughs> and I had a plug also. What six hundred million dollars? And you're, you know, come on, Ashley, you got that. <laughs> I, I love you too, but uh, you know what? <laughs> Okay, George. All I, I also tell you is I, I, I have to work week to week to pay my bills. I have to. If I stop working, Nicole is not going to bring me free chicken. I promise <laughs> you that much. Well, before you get free chicken, I got I got a commercial then a caller. I want to give a plug to a uh, it's TT Services, I believe. It's TT Styles One on Instagram. TT oh, yes. Styles TT One. Style, yes. Yep, and also they're on WhatsApp at five one six three six two six four eight four. Bringing out the beauty within you. It's one more time. TT Styles. It's on Instagram at TT Styles One, and you can give them a call on WhatsApp at five one six three six two six four eight four. And we have a caller on the line, producer. You can bring them on the lines. We're on the Justin right Pesci the show veteran, with Pesci, George, Nicole, Nicole, and Tom. Only get two hundred seventy nine dollars. And when I couldn't, yep. and if you don't call it, we're on the line. Call it. You're on the line. You snap. You lose it, and you know how hard it is. Hey, it's, we got Anthony Fankel, of our buddy from DPH you? Property Maintenance. Anthony, what's on your mind with Tom, Heshi, George, and Nicole? Hey, Anthony. Hey, so I, I'm listening to the show tonight, and I have a question for Nicole. Uh-oh. Do you really believe the GOP is responsible for the border issue, or are you just saying that? I believe that the GOP is responsible for today's failure of a bill that could have passed. A stupid the bill. failure of the bill. But you understand that when Trump was president, we had the lowest level of immigration in decades. And as soon as Joe Biden became president, through executive order, he changed those policies. And then all the migrants started flooding into our country. I, I don't think that Trump solved the problem. Huh? And, I, and I think that when Trump, like I know, when Trump was president due to the policies that he enacted, we lost over 800 kids that, by the way, we have never found. Oh, stop it. So, that was Obama. No, it you wasn't. That was, that was Obama. Obama. That was no, not Obama, Obama policy. Obama. We, we, we lost, we lost Hello. those kids. Can I just say something about separation Can policies. I get back to the migrant we'll situation? We'll get back to that in a second. Did you? I want to answer his question. Okay. Okay. And, and, and it, never, sure. it never did solve the problem for good or even indefinitely. All I know is now in your new bill that we disapproved, uh, Biden even allows and wants a border wall. Now explain to me. Something wrong with having a border. But you said no border wall. That's, 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 that's the, the policy, policy I was talking about. But Anthony, you said you had another point. What was it? You have one more the point. The point is about the um, the fifty three million dollar program. Yes, it does save us money, but however, we shouldn't be paying one single dollar of our taxpayers for this issue. I, you, the, the problem is it, between the free housing, the free legal, um, the free legal defense, the free food. It is it's the entitlement that are bringing them here. It's not there's nothing that incentivizes them to go to work. And everything incentivizes them to come here and to bankrupt our city. And uh, I'll sit back and listen to you guys. Bankrupt our okay. Anthony, so, so, you do it. I, I think Anthony, no, Anthony raised a really good point. I don't disagree, right? But the the counterpoint to that is what is the alternative? And with with the lack of policy as there is, what is the can alternative? I, I have let them can just I, can I just jump no, can I, no, I have an alternative. Can I jump in there for really quick though? Yeah. There was an article in a website called Muckraker, and in this site, Muckraker found out that the Doctors Without Borders give out maps in South America where to meet, where to rally, how to sneak into the United States. Oh, no way. Yes, that oh, gets better. And you, know, and you know who's, who's a big uh, supporter of Doctors Without Borders? The usual suspects, Google, Microsoft, all, all, all these companies are supporting this institution. Now, I thought Doctors Without Borders is supposed to be helping people right. with medical issues and stuff like that. And if you want to give us a call and talk the about that, States. that is six, wild. Four, That's six, a whole separate problem, but that is nine, seven, four, fifteen, eighty. You know, what I was, you know what I heard today? The Chinese immigrants that sneak into America, they use TikTok to follow and, and get into it through different border crossings. And they get in, they use it by using TikTok to sneak them into America. But my, my whole it's funny, story is- I don't hear is, a lot of heave-ho about but, the Chinese But <laughs> my story, there is, there's a big Chinese thing. Right. But again, last year, 900,000 uh, uh, illegal immigrants at a certain point, we're already in February and we surpassed a million already. And I just want you to know something. Forget that you're hurting this country, but the migrants are told to work. They don't want to work. Not that we don't have work for them. We can create jobs for them. 
We have jobs for them. Even Israel has brought in people because there's always jobs to do. Yes, they're not yeah. going to live the high they're life. Not great, but they're they're going to be jobs. living. But at well, least Governor they're Hochul they're set, up, set aside jobs, jobs right. for them. And yeah. I want you to know, so I want to tell you a story. You know, in Palestine, uh, in, 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 Ga where? in Gaza. What's in that place? Palestine, <laughs> whatever. In Gaza, there was a guy. Was he okay? You're, you're checking in on that? Yeah. But there's a guy in Gaza who told the story. He says, you know, he works for a bakery and he makes two and a half dollars a day. That's what he gets paid. Two and a half dollars a day working 12 hours a day in a bakery. That's what our waiters in, get paid. In northern Gaza. And uh, he tells his uncle, he says, Uncle, I have four kids. We struggle. Everybody, we just barely make it. You know, we don't even have food. He says, Hamas came to my house and said, we're going to dig a tunnel under your, uh, under your house. And we're going to pay you $50 a month to allow us to have this tunnel and store our stuff. So his uncle said to him, what did you tell them? He says, I told him to dig four tunnels. <laughs> is that a joke or for no, serious? No, no, serious. That's my point. My point is, don't tell me that the Palestinian people or those people living in Gaza are innocent. They I never said that, but, but they, they know say, what's going on. But they're not 100 percent guilty. Not they 100%. are. They are because they're, they they I could would say most they could rise up. They want this. You don't have to live in Gaza. You don't have to live in New York. You don't have to yeah, live in Miami. But you know who keeps them in the they position? Keep them you know there. who keeps them poor? Not. It's not Israel. It's not Israel. Right. Israel it's, gives them it's money. Or, it's organizations like UNRWA. UNRWA has UNRWA. kept... Has what is UNRWA? Can the, you tell us? It's the UN. United, United it's, Nations. Right, it's, it's the United Nations arm for Palestinian, quote, refugees. These people have been refugees for, for longer than I've been alive. Right. Right. And you, at some point, you reacclimate to a new place and you shed your refugee status in the way that Jews shed it during the diaspora, in the way that Israelis have shed it from wherever they've come from. My grand, my grand grandparents were refugees from Morocco into Israel. They don't consider themselves yeah. Moroccan anymore. My father anymore. and mother They're, were refugees sure. from Europe. I have They're a Israelis. Problem. Every Jew has held but so, refugee but I status want to show you what and has grown from it, except I'm, I'm, for them. I'm going to get off the migrant thing, but I want to tell you, they don't want the, the migrants don't want to work, and, and when you give them jobs, they, they are know. taught. And here it is. This is a rule in New York City. That whether you're a legal, Miss Lawyer, whether you're a legal citizen or you're a legal worker, whether you have a green card, whether you have a social security number, if you're on a job and you get injured, you sue. The way to fix the immigration problem is to go the back to the way it was when my father came to this country and grandfather. Somebody signed for you. And when somebody signed for you, right. they I made sure you went to right. work. Right. I they to made sure you people. didn't get on I, benefits. I, 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 but I want you to know the migrants are taught. They get injured on a job, and they collect what's going on. We were talking about this they, they, about and, and, now, and now I'm going to tell you a story. Shoot. In Borough Park this week, there was a collapse of a building. And who do you think died? A Jewish. migrant. Okay. Not a Jewish. Jew. Jewish people. It's Borough now, Park. Now, you're going to say, well, hey, she... <laughs> that that would have been my guess. That's why I thought you were and, going with and, it. And George is going to say, well, they did a crappy job. They worked against the stop work order. The building department, of course, tortured these people, gave them stop work orders, didn't let them build, wouldn't let them get They sound like future customers right. for you. Right. They are. And <laughs> here's my problem with this job. So they hired some of these non-illegal workers over there. Okay. This guy, now, I was at the site. It wasn't built out of wood. It wasn't built terribly. I saw it. There was no way for that site to collapse unless somebody... Okay, but it did, so. Because somebody sabotaged it. What? Yes, That's yes. That's your theory? No, it's not a theory. It I'm, can't just be that they use yeah, unskilled it's not, labor? I'm not a lawyer. I through? am a contractor for 30 years. I am an inspector. Right, I and, know and job some, And if you have some random from South America building it with nothing but a hammer no. and a nail, it's not going to freaking it's hold not up. That. When you're building a building out of metal studs and, and, and you're building it out of steel, okay, and it's supposed to be secure with brackets, what you do is the, the, the migrant gets injured. He falls down, he bangs his yeah, head, he breaks his leg, and he's job. able to sue... Uh, not a dangerous job when it's one or two levels. He just took so much unprecautionary. I have a question from somebody in the. Uh, that's the problem. I don't know if it's a question or a statement. I'm telling you, but I've done this for 30 years. I see every job. A lot of the illegals. Uh, that I have to work with scum people are illegals. Let, let me get. Let me get to the saying. comment here because I'm not sure if it's a question or a fact. So I'll ask for a clarification. Once Trump is back, we can expect ICE on every block deporting all their illegals back as it was after Obama. I'm, just, I'm sure if it's a question or if it's a fact. Well, I'm hoping it's a fact. But also, I have one like thing I wanted to ask assertion. you. You know, you talked about Alvin Bragg, right? Yeah. Replacing Alvin Bragg. Yeah, replacing. And, Fire him. Okay, but... Okay, you, so, so you need to replace so, him. So this is my point. I know Republicans have been saying, yeah, yeah, you got to get rid of him. But, you know, you talked about the Department of Homeland Security and yeah. how, you know, uh, you, you get rid of him, you're just going to have somebody else. So who would then actually step in 
and replace Alvin Bragg because does it, the governor have the discretion? You do you think it would actually be no? Any the governor, better? there would be a special election call. But you don't think? But that wouldn't wouldn't it be the same point you made about Homeland Security? Because of Manhattan? no Homeland Security, the president. Yeah, but here's the difference. Somebody but here, you have to run for election. Any chance we can get Rudy Giuliani back? Oh, oh get the hell out of here! But, but my point was Come in on. Manhattan, you're kind of wasting your time. You're wasting your time. I don't time know. Maybe they argument. finally figured it out. I'm and going, it's a comment, by the way, from Jay. By the way, I want I want to go a legal issue now. Um, you know, I talk about mental health problems and I talk about children and, and George has a child, you have a child, you, you have nephews and nieces. Yes. And George nieces, is gonna, only nieces and no George is gonna have another baby the idiot. But uh, yeah <laughs> Well not me, my wife and Well George, George, we George are thinking and about George it. is never gonna change a diaper. He has a nanny. A nanny. What's wrong with a nanny? Higher than Annie. Trust me on this. Higher than Annie. I change those diapers. If more people, fed those if more, babies. If more people, if more people, if more cup families hired a nanny in Borough Park. There'd you be would much less it. family court cases, let me yeah, tell you. Yeah, higher than lot, Annie. A lot less depression. You want right. to be the I like. Well, anyways, here's my point to you, okay? Mm hmm. You're responsible for your children. Absolutely. Yeah, but there's only so much you saw, you know. Oh, like I know a, where you're going with this. So yes. two weeks ago, two weeks ago, a man killed his parents. Because the, the parents didn't watch or couldn't help their oh, kids. Oh, I thought you were going for the school I'm shooting going. case. I am. I am. Okay. That's where I'm going. So there's a lady by the name of Jennifer Gr Grumley. Grumley. Uh -huh. She was working. They called her from the school that your son is losing it. She says, I'm busy working. So the school said, let him stay there. He went and killed four kids in his school. Uh -huh. Okay. Now he got life in jail. Got it? Okay, he's a murderer. He was crazy. Maybe I think he should have been a jail or a mental institution. No, 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 no jail. He got jail. Life in jail, that which he should have got. They now went and prosecuted the mother, for the, for, that's the and they time. gave her four. Uh, let me read this: four counts of involuntary manslaughter, manslaughter, which could range for about ten to twenty years in jail, mm -hmm. because she didn't what. She didn't wa stop victims. her kid. So, so hold on, there's, there's more to it. Again, I understand that. Again, context Why is, is she everything. responsible for her son? Uh, I, I would need to hear more. Okay, so here's, I, here's this is the first story. time I'm hearing this here's story. story. It's a fact. It happened today. It happened yesterday. And now but they're going after the father. They went after both parents at the same time. But the father but wasn't yet. Uh, no, the uh, father was absolutely prosecuted because they were they no, were arranged together and, and saying "I love yous" in the courtroom like two lovers, <laughs> well, like an idiots. Okay. Right? No, both parents were prosecuted. It wasn't just the mother. The father is prosecuted because he's the one that gave the kid the gun. Right? Why would he do giving your fifteen year old? Okay, but if you give your fifteen year old over there, you're allowed to have a gun. That's Stupid. not that's not the point. If you but give if you your know child your, and you know your kid's a loose cannon and you give him a gun, you're a freaking idiot. She didn't know it was a loose cannon. Yes, they did. That's the problem. So is that they have they have they had no actually, education think, from school. I think that's an important part that you left it's a out. Huge contextual issue. About, again, you, you don't give a fifteen year old a gun. Never. Okay. Right? Well, so they, I, they I agree. have no school. But you know, in, in a lot of these Midwest uh, uh, cities or towns, fifteen year olds get driver's licenses well, we and that's fly not planes. The same as a gun. They fly planes. No. No. Crash a plane. They also into a house. they also milk cows at six in the morning <laughs> and learn responsibility. <laughs> you know. Well, the I don't have you milked the cow, Heshi? I think that's what the I audience did. wants to know. I you did. Have. I was. I was in <laughs> Israel working on a farm, taking care of uh, animals. And when I was uh, upstate, we went to a farm with cows, and I touched their things. And it was uh, funny, you know. Did it excite you? Was it exciting? <laughs> <laughs> what was that show with Paris Hilton where they went onto a farm? Right. Oh, Paris yeah. and Nicole. Right? Nicole yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't yeah. agree that the mother should be responsible. You raise your child. I understand that if you raise your child, he's, yeah, first of all, I don't think he was 15. I think he's he was 15. 18. No, he then wasn't. Then how did he's he get minor. life in jail? He's 15. Then he can't get life in jail. He can't get life in jail. But, but they did. He has 15. a life sentence in jail. I don't know that he has a life sentence. I thought so, he was, so then I thought they, he was Unless 18. they tried him as well, an adult, I, know, I just want to. I, I just want to bring it up so you, to both of you guys could maybe have a thought on this. I'm sure it's going to be a, an interesting take. Infinite Justice wants to say, hire a nanny equals outsource your responsibilities. Ah. Do you oh. 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 Men do it all the time, my love. They do it all the time. What are you talking about? Us men, if not for us, don't look at me with those eyes. Look at those eyes. Look at those beady eyes. Did you see those eyes? I, I saw you them. You saw what I'm you did watching. with those eyes? I'm They're watching. Terrible. I'm Let me tell you something. If not for us, the children wouldn't be raised right. First of all, you know, to, to answer that, Nan, Even our religion doesn't believe that. Uh, hold on sure a does. Are you men, joking? Men are the inspiration. We're the heroes. We are the supermen. <laughs> I know that my hero was my father. Yes, I loved my mother a lot. She gave me 
somewhat love, but my father was my hero. Men are the hero to their children. I, what do you think I do every day? Can I, can I, I just answer? Then why is it the women that are home with them all day? No, the, first of all, it's not the women always over because right, us but men but do in, double in, duties. In traditional gender, gender roles, tr the traditional Those tradition family with your leftist woke people today, was, there's no more traditional. In the traditional. You know, I do the laundry, the I do the cooking. Home, not the I, men. I do the laundry, I do the cooking now, I do the cleaning, trust me. Who I you make, choose as a mother to your children is monumental because it was the women that influenced the children. It's the women that teach religion and all that marriage is, like I told you, marriage is a team sport. Yeah, People course. think that Agreed. you get married, 100%. it's easy. You nope. fight with your wife, you fight with your children, and like me, I fight with no my argument. son, and 100%. my son is always wrong, uh, I think we have and a call. I'm always we have, right. I think we have a caller on the line, okay. so I'm going to bring the caller on Go the ahead. line here. Caller, you're with George, Nicole, Heshi, and Tom no, on the Justin Heshi Show. Caller, you're on the line. Oh, I don't know why We're the caller... We're getting feedback. Is the caller you on? You got echoing. Because they you have, have to shut radio. your radio down. Turn your radio uh, down. Just think yes, of it like test. Yes, okay. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello? Yes. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? Where are yeah, you from? Can you hear me? Now yes, I hear you. I just want to tell you that, the, first of all, this, uh, this boy that did the shooting is way old, over. He got the gun for a present from his mother when he turned 16. And the day that he shot up the school, they called her down because he was drawing pictures of him using the gun on people. And the mother said, nah, it's nothing. He's just like, they, they, the school insisted they take him home, that she take him home. But she said, no, he's fine. He's just No, she said she's working. She can't today. leave work. But he's she fine. He's, she's not taking him home. So that's why they put her in jail. Okay, thank you, Cole, for giving us a call. We'll talk with you next week. And I have a bunch of comments because people want to talk. Thank Anthony you Finkel point. is here saying, if gender is a social construct, try milking a bull and see how that goes. Kind of reminds me on Sportswire Radio last night, we had a guy who's a Pez, <laughs> a Pez collector. He talked about eating bull's testicles or something like that. Uh, Michael Smith, hello, how are you? Uh, also, um, also, I think here, Infinite Justice claims somebody's a leftist clown here. I'm not quite sure it's probably what it was. Me. Thank you. And Infinite ah, Justice also right. wants to say New York City used to have him clubs in schools. I don't know what him what clubs are, What are him like clubs? Singing. Him club. Okay. Oh, like, oh, uh, like, like psalms and gospel like hymns. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Thank you. Thank king you for Charles no. waited all his life to become uh, king. A year into his kingdom ship, or two years, he has mm. cancer. That's now what we call karma. Thing. Well, he went, he went to surgery for a large prostate, so I'm guessing he didn't say what kind of cancer he got, but he probably got prostate cancer. But, but his son came and is hanging out with him, who's going to be the next king, you know what I mean? Oh, William? Uh, and William, he's yeah. hanging out. He says, oh, I just want to hang out with my father, please. Yeah, right. You're waiting to take that spot, you little pisher. Come on. <laughs> well, the one, hold on. The one that's on the outs... He's he's not in line. No, for, he's not. He's Harry. Yeah, he's Harry. Harry. So oh, Harry's the one, visiting him. I thought. Yeah, William Harry's was visiting, him. but William is the clear successor. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then well, George, his son. You know. Well, all I know is well, that I feel bad. I, uh, I feel bad. And you know, know, you know, my favorite president in the whole world, this Argentina president Javier. Mele? Mele? Mele, Mele. He went to Israel. He went to the Kotel. He loves the Jews. I'm telling you, he's going to do a great job in Argentina. <laughs> I don't care what you think. And I don't care. No, I love the guy. Yeah. I think he's great. And I think he's going to do a great job. And I'm, I'm very impressed with him. And I'm so happy he went there. And they welcomed him. Uh, speaking of Israel, I, I actually want to give a, a shout out to uh, Karen, who's actually going there uh, very soon. She's oh. going at the end of the month. Yay. And I hope you're doing well. I also want to say hello to my buddy, Mr. To Justin Parsley, of course, and our Sports by Radio Hall of Fame, one half of the XCW Tag Team Champions. He's going to be in the ring tomorrow night. And he says, Good evening, everybody. Hope all is well and God bless. I, Thank you. I want to give and, you some Black Beauty says, By the way, Hi. I want to give you some numbers on the Israeli war. Go, go for it. 10,000 Hamas terrorists have been killed in Gaza so Good. far. Two in three Hamas terrorists have been killed seriously or wounded or arrested. 18 of the 24 Hamas battalions have been dismantled. And here's the best part that. Uh, uh, and 100% of them are going to be considered innocent women or children right, by right. the social media. Okay. Well, I'm not saying, but that uh, is now, a good, George how much collateral damage has been done. Okay, but, but George, uh, the point is they can't even fire rockets anymore, which is good. But out of the 136 hostages left, we know for sure, and George, you didn't want me to say it, 32 of them are dead. That's a fact. 
How do we know? That's what the numbers are coming out of Israel, that for a fact that they know, somebody's told them, because, you know, Hamas was uh, negotiating now yeah. for four and a half, I don't even know what that means. Four and a half month ceasefire for what? To regroup? Yes, that's that means exactly what? what ceasefire to regroup, to come back to go to war? Why would we stop the war to go back to war? So they want to give us this, the, if they give back all the hostages, and they also want not... Is, if they give back the hostages, is is a ceasefire on the table? No. So it's supposed I, to be. I'm not I, I heard, it. according to what Biden said, that it was, but Netanyahu he said and today. Netanyahu said no. Today, today, because they were negotiating, they were close, and Netanyahu he said today, under no circumstances, we are going to wipe them off the face of the earth. That's the problem. So, so it's not, not a problem. You, no, hold on. It's I'm not a problem. Trying to explain to him the no. problem in the negotiations. Netanyahu has two unconditional things. They need, they, they need to, right, two conditions that are absolute, right? One is we need to get the hostages back, however many of them are alive, and the bodies of those that are not. And the other one is there, there can be no deal that leaves Hamas in power in any way. They cannot have partial or total control of Gaza whatsoever. Right. They have to disband. Right. So anything that leaves Hamas in, in any kind of governmental power is out. But no, that, I, I, I understand But that. America is already discussing with the Palestinian Authority on who's going to, after the war, who's going to control Gaza, which I don't even know why they even I have a couple of questions like from the audience, Heshi. I got a few people. Uh, uh, but no, there's questions. But, but I, got a, I got a few questions, which I'd like to get to. First of but all. I saw a video today. Okay, 30 of, seconds. Of, of Hamas soldiers holding hostages in a room, screaming at them, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, making them more crazy nervous while they were crying. I mean, these are, are torturing people. They, the they need to be punished real badly. They should. Really, really Let's bad. Okay. The questions. All right, so first off, Infinite Justice wants to clarify. He said New York City used to have gun clubs in schools. Okay, thank oh, you for that. But yeah. now I have a Big difference. Let me, get to, <laughs> let me get to the other <laughs> questions. Guns, yeah. Jay Joka, first of all, wants to know, can you speak on Israel hiring Indian workers instead of the current working Palestinians? Know anything about that? Well, yes, yeah. it's not just Indians. It's, it's Indians, Indians Thais, and Philippines. Ethiopians, Filipinos. So uh, Israel allows everybody to come into their country, just like America. And if you want to work, you're not getting government aid. If you're an Israeli, if you're a Jew, you come in and you make Aliyah, you become a citizen. Mm -hmm. Then even if a Palestinian, whatever, however you, if you're able to become a citizen of Israel, whether you're a, f a Palestinian or whether you're uh, a Jew, whether you're a, a Chinese, mm -hmm. if you become a citizen, you get government subsidies and, and apartments and so on. Right. But coming there just as a migrant worker, you must work or you get the okay. point. And, and to, to further just add more context to you, answer you the question... Better. Uh, I think he's talking about the people that are going to come in to replace the Palestinians right. that used to work in Israel. Palestinians so as of had a right to right. come in, in the millions they came in. Right. Right. We gave so them, as of 2023... What do, think, what do you think gave all the ideas to the Hamas? It was those Palestinians Correct. that we brought in to work. Those Hundreds of thousands of them. That, that we took to the hospitals when they were sick. They're the ones who, who, who mapped out where to kill. That, that's how they knew about the music festival. Yeah, so it's highly likely that they will not to get permits to re-enter Israel to and work I, I in, got in a, the I, near I got future. A, a fascinating and you are two million by the way uh, Arabs and Palestinians I think you mentioned who are Israeli book, citizens so, yeah. right yes. who have works who have jobs and have no issues so you want to be an animal we have animals in New York like you heard so <laughs> we spoke about a lot of them right. today actually and, and they just go wild and you want to rob I, I, and kill I and steal I have an all I know is I work hard for my money whether it's 600 million dollars I have George or not the well, point I, is the <laughs> truth comes out it's not for the lot <laughs> that's, that, that, that's a big matter but you know Heshi I have an interesting hypothetical and, and maybe even Nicole wants to speak on it because it's um Michael Smith our buddy wants to know does he think meaning you if you had the power, would you want to end the war between Israel and Hamas? Yes. Yes. No uh, questions under about very it. specific tell conditions. I, and tell I'll tell why. you why. Tell I, me why. I, I believe life is precious. Whether uh, uh, you're a baby in a mother's stomach, don't scream at me, Nicole. I'm against abortion. You can have an abortion. Be my guest. But I'm against it. Okay. In theory, you know, like my son now. So that's your personal I'm, I'm opinion. Raising, I'm yeah. raising a whole so unplanned child. My personal opinion <laughs> is, <laughs> but, but, but my personal opinion is, life is precious. And I don't want to see people shot. I just don't understand how you can kill somebody, whether you're a soldier or not. And, and, and my father was a soldier. I don't know if I could, I mean, I know I can defend myself. I know I, I chased people out of my house when they came in broken. And yes, if they would have hurt my family, I would have killed them. I know the anger that was within me. But I don't know and if, if, I hurt, if I killed somebody, how would I go up to, and I believe in God, what would I tell God? I took Well, I soul. think you have a right, a moral right. 
Actually, to yeah, defend yes. your family. And, I mean, and in I'm our not, religion. And, and, exactly Israelis, uh, and Israelis that. are defending their families and countries. That's country. in the Torah. But the reason why I want to end that war is because I, I'm tired of seeing people die. I'm, I'm tired of Bill Gates getting up in Davos with those animal pigs telling us that we have to lower the population of the world. We have so much room on this great planet that God gave us. And you know what? We're going to the moon. We're spending trillions of dollars. We are, we are d digging tunnels under the ground. We are spending money on stupid stuff. Well, I, I, listen, I believe in the space program. I believe in to go to Mars right. and colonize So we don't it. need the green part. I believe in a future. Exactly. So I know that in the future, if there's too many people, which will take at least a thousand years before so we have I, too, I many, got, too much population, something? we'll already be on Mars or Venus so or another, another planet, which there are other planets like the Earth out there, by the way. So you believe in colonizing Mars? Do you believe in climate change? Uh, I don't. I don't. I believe that there's a change in the climate. I do not believe it's man-made or mostly man-made. Right. It's all by God, and it's all going to work itself because, out. Because, the, uh, because uh, okay, for example... So, I mean, it takes a, a leap well, of faith you, to believe in colonizing uh, Mars, but then not to... Hold on a second. No, we just land, if you need it, if you need the space. Sure, yeah, extra parking Listen, lot room. Listen, you used to be able to grow grapes in England and Greenland 800 years ago, 700 years ago, 600 years ago. Yeah. So we know for a fact that the climate change is all on its own Without factories and and you know pollution and carbon. Right. Now I think it's a good. By humans. Are I we think a catalyst to that. No, let me let me be clear. I think it's no. a good thing to bring carbon down, carbon emissions down. But I'm not ready, and I don't think the Western world should be driving bicycles. You know. To by make the way, that speaking happen. of Hashi, I, I and, and by the way, by the way, some of your theorists, crazy people, my, I love it. think my people I want you to hear this: that the moon. You know the moon that we have going around yep. the Earth? Heard of yeah. it. Heard it of it's it. not that it's only a satellite, that it's hollow. <laughs> no. well, okay. And it's I, hollow again, to the point but that it has to be created by aliens. You know, has she, uh, and that's where the aliens go hiding. Hold on a second. Moon. Let me talk about the Mars that's, thing. That's the, Mar lot. the Mars question, okay? Yeah. I believe it's a good thing for mankind to have a second home in case... An asteroid hits this planet, right. God forbid. It's never going to happen. In case it doesn't go around. No, right. an it asteroid. Won't, a, won't. Uh, our, Asteroids, our, absolutely. Can I happen. understand. Hits happens all the time, but the way God created our planet with the ozone layer and all that protection, it's impossible. It's impossible. No, an asteroid it's did hit the planet 63 yeah, million years ago. 97 billion years ago. But you know, Heshi, oh, I, I, I actually have an, an old friend. Only, only the okay, uh, uh, second only part. Only us humans will blow each Hold other on, up. Second. That's how you the know, world that will bubble you destroyed. live in must be very comfortable. Hold on it's a not second. a bubble, it's a fact. The second part to that question is mankind needs a uh, a goal. Mm. And, and, and I think as uh, it, would, it, it would organize humanity in such a way that they'd be like, Okay, we're gonna our build should be our goal should be the colony. No, our goal should be the American dream that everybody's allowed to be rich, and this should be a utopia. Well, I'm saying let's make Mars the 51st state. <laughs> uh, well, first we're well, going to do that with Puerto Rico. So wait a minute. Rico. So before Puerto Rico becomes a state, right. we're going to make Mars a state? I want Puerto Rico to be a state. This is just for you, Hashi. Just before we sign off with our radio listeners, an old friend, you might say, is here ready to say hello. Mr. Jacob Bard is tuned in, and he says hello to you, Heshi. And he also says at least liberal Nicole is pro-Israel. Heshi, an old friend of yours, Jacob uh, Bard. Jacob, I just, Anything you I, want to say to I, Jacob Bard? I just Bard? bumped into Jacob Bard. And, uh, <laughs> Your Jacob, old friend. <laughs> I know, Jacob. I wish you the best, and I know you're getting better. And yes, he's, he's sick, actually, with and, something. And, and, and Jacob, and, and, I, and, I, and I wish you the best. I went to see you, and I... And and I and I only want you to recover, and and, and <laughs> anything I could do to help you would be my my pleasure. Just enough, there, yeah, Jacob Bart, for yeah. you. But uh, also a couple more comments, real quick. Um, Athens and Ankara would join in. That's the situation Israel is in, according to Infinite Justice. And Black Beauty basically said, clarifying, I guess, what Michael. But I think we answered it anyway about if you could end the war. But you said yes. You yeah. said you could yeah, end the war. I, I didn't well. understand the Infinite Justice question. A Athens. Athens and Ankara would join in. That's the situation Israel is in, basically. If you want to clarify Infinite Justice on what you're further wanting to say, obviously George wants to know and he'll answer it, I suppose. Yes, yes, I would. Oh, I have no problem well, answering okay, the question. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm I, just saying. I, believe, I believe in... You believe you can fly, Heshi. I believe... I, I wish I could. <laughs> I mean, could. Can't say the R. Kelly version. That would have definitely Kelly's won us the election. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, <laughs> before we get, before we lose our audience, yep. and Nicole, this is for you. Oh, I love You're it. You're so pretty. Oh, and not you. in a woke Western way. I did not say anything in a bad way. I, I, I want to show you what our culture has come to. How, how low your, your democratic leftist retards are. 
I was watching the show. Tell us we, what you really feel. Uh, uh, okay, I'm watching the show, and now I'm not going to use the W word, which I should use that word. I should use it. I saw Miley Cyrus. You know who Miley Cyrus is? I know exactly is? who she, she is. She was such a nice, sweet girl on television when we were little kids. Hannah Montana. Yes. Right. Hannah Montana. She went into a, one of these award shows wearing a dress. Made I of swear to God. Pins. You could see through everything. I was able to see everything. Now, explain you should, to you me. be grateful. What are you getting upset about? What? <laughs> Most men don't get upset. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, but it's not me. She's it's not me. I can, call, I can control. What? A woman allowed to walk around naked on the street? No. Not, first of all, she's not on the street. Okay, you was on the she's street. When you had the Grammys on a television she's show, it's Grammys. called the street. It's not the street. The whole world to see you. The point is, is it's not me. My children. Now my children will get moving the clip. Well, no, if Miley children. Cyrus could walk around naked, I could walk around for, naked. I, I, just for the parents out there. Uh, and I want to thank everybody from 620 WS. Thank you, WS, yeah. thank right. you 620 WS. But what is the celebrities thank all you get w on TV? W and thank you, WJPR Miami. Right. But all celebrities get all off TV and they start quoting, uh, uh, helping uh, Biden and press. These are dumbbell idiots that should not have any uh, say in the matter of anything. Yes, I'm a radio show host, idiots. but still I'm smarter than the rest of those losers. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. Okay. I did like 50 Cent calling out. I did the like mayor on, on right. the uh, right. on the credit card thing. Right. Jacob Bard said he could buy himself flowers, meaning a lyric. I, I think, buy, I think Miley Sa flowers. Cyrus, right? The point. The point is, is. Would you want to buy flowers, Jacob Bard? No, though? I don't want to buy no, flowers. No. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't buy Linda flowers, even though can't say it on the even air. though for her birthday. I didn't buy her flowers. I had the kids buy her flowers. You know, because what but what are you doing for her round is that? Would you well, get your wife for her birthday though? You know, has she I next got Linda. Valentine's Usually Day. I buy Linda every week three uh, mega lotto and powerball ticket. For her birthday, I went all out and I bought her six tickets. Oh, so God. what are you doing for What Valentine's? a romantic. What I, what I wanted to ask you, what are you, you doing? You know what? She loved everybody. You should have seen her when we went to cash those tickets in. <gasps> up and down. It was, I was watching how happy she was. She won two bucks. And all right, to all the young men that are listening that may or may not be courting a woman or in a relationship with one, please don't take this as advice. <laughs> now, Michael Smith wants to know, actually. Yakov, by the way, is going out. I heard that girl. worked on you, But before Nicole. I ask you about your uh, Valentine's Day quiet. plans, has she... Michael Smith wants to know, do you like Taylor Swift? Mm. Happens to be, okay, here's my thing. I want to hear this. <laughs> Taylor Swift, I, I, I don't, I don't want to use the W word, but she slept with a lot of men. It's not your business who slept. It is my it's business. It's not your business. Little girls look up to her. My grand, my nieces look up to Taylor Swift. If Taylor Swift could be sleeping with a football guy today and a basketball guy tomorrow, no problem. <laughs> Who you know cares? Why, why do you care so much? Why do you care? Women sleep with. You know Kim Kardashian? Oh, yeah, she's real wholesome. I used to love her till she started hoing. I mean, not hoing. Oh, 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 what did you say? What did you say? I did not call her a name. I did not. Remember the defamatory, the laudatory, the laudatory. The point is you can't be doing bad things that the world should see. You want to do something? I got it. But you can't. Show the young people that's Trump why is our the world biggest is foreign town. He First of all, if you're if you're with. looking up to no, no, Trump did, he doesn't do it anymore. We you make don't mistakes. Know that. I've made mistakes. I don't know it because he doesn't do it openly on the street. I, I mean, he does, and he brags about it. But okay, he bragged about it twenty years ago. Come on, you can't bring up stuff from twenty years no, ago. He didn't he bragged so about what are you doing for running? So I know we're on the air next. So what are you doing for Valentine's Day? So Valentine's Day, Day. I, he's buying more scratch offs. <laughs> <laughs> he's buying her. Hold on, hold on. Eight he's buying. Offs. He's buying her a bodega with their own lottery machine. <laughs> <laughs> the corner one on fifty fifth and thirteenth. I want you to know, I'm thinking of applying for one. I think it would be the coolest thing for Linda to give out those tickets, and she gets twenty percent, ten percent to the win. No, I'm taking. Linda, I've already planned it. I'm going to take her out to dinner at a oh. dairy restaurant. Are you going to tip? You better tip. I tip. Okay. I tip. But not like this crazy person. No, you need to he tip. He tips crazy. 20%. 20%. Friend. What do I tip? I tip normal. You tip like 40%. And when I went so out to... Service is good. Why not? Right. Uh, right. Uh, right. But you, you can't just... Where did I tip 40%? I don't know. You were telling me... I go as far as 30 sometimes. The point... If you have a $500 bill, you know what 30% is? $150. Yeah, so what? 
I'm sorry to bring you a piece of chicken. Also, I have a left over potato. Are before. you crazy? If the you know service is good, I mean, I, I, well, do I get a tip? I got you go to a restaurant more, for well, experience. Wasn't my service good tonight? I want a tip for One me. more comment for you, Heshi. Is Linda going to come on the show? So that's what Michael Smith wants. Yeah, to we want to hear from her. Linda, come we on. We should the do. Show. You know what? For Valentine's Day, we should do a relationship edition. Just enough, Linda. Of the show. Well, okay. didn't you see my video with me and Linda on her birthday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And people all commenting. She didn't smile. She did smile most of the time. Yeah, you bought a scratch off. Nothing else. It's not a scratch off. It's a lot. Omega and, 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 and parables. You could have been a billionaire. Get the woman a I real think it's gift. Called, Take her out on a date. I think it's called Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. What is fake North Macedonia starting? And he, he retracted his comment. And Van Justice, I tried to help you. And I don't know what fake Macedonian is. Yeah, I don't even All know. All I know is I, I love you so much, Nicole. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, uh, my dear friend George, I, 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 you are just wonderful. I'm so happy for you. And uh, you, you, I know that you name your children some kind of, uh, what is it, uh, Greek Athena. name? Athena. 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 And, uh, Athena. Not his daughter <laughs> when he has a son. What would I, be the son's I, name? I don't want to say it because you that. bring bad mojo. Oh, yeah? yeah. That's what the Jewish boys we, do. We that too. That too. So I don't but, but everybody, my son is dating. We're going to make a wedding soon. Yeah. And uh, I didn't like But to answer your question. See, you, got to, I, you got to marry somebody no, 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 off. It just wasn't me. I didn't like the I didn't like the first girl he was with. I was praying that he would dump her. He didn't dump her. She dumped him. Thank God. And now I set him up with a beautiful, nicer girl. And I chose him. And my son said, "You're too oh, controlling." What controlling? You I recommend. I didn't wife. chose. I directed him in the right direction. Is she attractive? I think so. If you want to find out and more she about doesn't it. dress, she doesn't dress with... Well, it, it it's not all that matters, but that's where you start. If you want to find out more about it, it's at heshitishler.com. Uh, Ask him more questions. <laughs> Just enough, heshi at gmail.com. And Infinite Justice wants to say, he already typed it twice. You probably got booted off YouTube for your comments or whatever, because I can't well, see can it. Can you give a crossroads uh, uh, before we go? Absolutely. Yeah. If, you, if you are struggling out there with mental health, you want to give crossroads a call anytime at 609-810-9522. Monday Monday to Friday from about 10 o'clock to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Saturday is from 10 to 4. If anybody's going through anything right now, mental health, you know, has she talked about mental health real quick? Actually, right, we'll continue on, to talk about it. I just want to say, I just want to interrupt you because mental health is actually something we spoke a lot about on Sports Wire Radio because one of our, our wrestlers actually broke down on the air. A guy, uh, the Tribal Cheese, he's a very well known British wrestler. And, uh, you know, he said some things that, you know, I wouldn't want to repeat on the air, and I hope that nobody would, you know, go through that. But the biggest people you think, the strongest people, are actually going through things that you never realize. So if there's somebody out there of any type of help, anybody out there, call Crossroads. They won't judge you. It's behavior, mental health, whatever it might be. One more time, 609-810-9522. And Heshi, certainly always been important. I've known you and your family a long time. It's always been mental health has been a big issue, and certainly Crossroads will... Definitely talk to you and no judgment whatsoever. Pray 